I'll, I'll read it for you. It says, tomorrow marks 13 years since the first commit to Elixir Repo. And today we celebrate by announcing that Elixir is officially a graduate, gradually typed language. And then the screenshot. And that's got 177,000.8 views on it. And almost 600 retweets, reposts, 2.2K likes slash hearts, and almost 200 uh, bookmarks on that too. So it's and it's... It's a little bit fake newsy, isn't it, Jose? Like it's a little bit. Like it's... <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> it is official, right? Okay. It's it's uh, because so 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 let's go a little bit into it, right? So so what does it mean, right? What does it mean that Elixir is officially yeah, like gradually typed, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, before that, before that tweet, let's say. Uh, Elixir was a dynamically typed language, and one of the ways that you can think of a dynamically typed language is that it's it's a statically typed language between quotes, right? Where all the functions, all the inputs are dynamic, and then it returns dynamic, right? So uh, everything that you receive is dynamic. Everything returns dynamic, and dynamic means I don't know what is the type at compile time. I know at runtime. So if I try to do, uh, I try to add a number to a list, uh, which is not possible in most programming languages, right? You are supposed to you you in Elixir you are going to get a an error at runtime, but if you had a static type system, you could potentially catch that error at compilation time, right? So Elixir was a dynamically typed language, and being a gradually typed language means that you have the dynamic, but at the same time you have the dynamic, you can also have precise type information. So what the tweet was saying is that well. Uh, instead of Elixir now seeing all the variables, all of your inputs as dynamic, now we are doing inference on your patterns and guards, which are very common in Elixir code. So in your pattern, you can say, oh, I'm going to match on a list. You can use a guard to say, oh, this thing is a number or an integer. We are getting that information to say, oh, so now I know that this variable is no longer dynamic and it's actually an integer and it's a list. And now that we are mixing this dynamic world with this little bit of type information, right? Uh, now it's officially gradually typed, and that's correct. But it's more like it's officially gradually typed, but we are at one percent of the journey. <laughs>